Singapore's bold plan to build the farms of the future. You all know about Singapore as a place of huge urbanization and beautiful arrangement. However, COVID-19 restrictions led to hordes storming supermarkets. Eggs, butter, and even toilet paper were flying off the shelves. There was nothing better in Singapore either. As a small city-state with limited resources, Singapore is especially vulnerable to such disruptions. It imports over 90% of its food from other countries, and only 1% of its land is set aside for agricultural use. How can it ensure its food supply remains stable amid today's volatile world? To find out this and much other information about events and projects around the world, subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when a new video is online. Welcome back to the Billion Dollar Projects channel. Singapore aims to produce 30% of local nutritional needs by 2030. To reach the goal, the country will increase local production of commonly consumed food such as fish, eggs, and vegetables. These are also more perishable and vulnerable to supply disruptions. With limited land spaces and resources, the nation needs to optimize the militated land resources they have by intensifying each unit of area. However, some creative and clever solutions can be devised for the functioning of a modern farm in the middle of an urbanized area. A local farm, Sustainer Agricultural, is using tech to optimize farming spaces. It uses LED lights to grow vegetables indoors across multiple floors. Their system is designed to fit into existing multi-story buildings, such as industrial areas, eliminating the need for specialized new compounds to be built. These indoor farms will be more resilient to some of the impacts of climate change. Urban farmers can incorporate sensors that will help to ensure factors like air quality, light, and water are optimally balanced. Due to the lack of arable land, there must be innovative ideas for the development of farms and agriculture. We already told you that. Sky Greens, for example, has become the poster child for innovative farming. Sky Greens' vertical vegetable farming system is engineered to produce at least five times more leafy greens than conventional farms, with the ability to support farming on non-arable land. The system features tall aluminum frames that contain planting troughs, which are rotated by a water pulley system. This technology was the result of successful R&D collaboration with the Agri-Food and Veterinary Authority AVA, of Singapore, a partnership that led to the realization of Singapore's first commercial vertical farm. Another local innovator is maximizing production with eight floors of vertical fish farms. Each floor will be equipped with a tank system that will purify, monitor, and recirculate water within the farm. Only 5% of the water will need to be replaced when contaminated by fish waste. That reduces water wastage compared to traditional farms that regularly clean out whole tanks. Such innovative farms help to produce up to 10 to 15 times more food products per hectare as compared to traditional farms. To encourage more sustainable farming methods, the Singapore Food Agency, SFA, recently launched a new agricultural standard for local farms. This will ensure farms are using resources efficiently and recycling waste. Non-edible crop waste, for instance, can be used for composting before it is disposed of. Singapore currently incinerates up to 95% of food waste, which is a waste of resource. Food waste can be converted into animal feed, recycling nutrients back into the food production loop. SFA is looking to improve the efficiency of tech that can convert food waste into animal feed. SFA is also providing funding for the adoption of innovative tech for farming in Singapore. Last year, the organization launched a 30 by 30 Express grant, which offered SG $39.4 million to nine high-tech farms to boost local food production. One of the farms will set up an indoor vegetable arm that uses AI to monitor the growth of produce. It will also set up a water treatment system that reduces the number of bacteria and extends the shelf life of crops. SFA's SG $60 million Agri-Food Cluster Transformation Fund also encourages farms to adopt tech-enable and sustainable farming practices. As food production and farm jobs increase, more workers will be needed to perform all those jobs. Therefore, it is necessary to train new and young people for it. There are Skills Future Continuing Education and Training courses that will include part-time diplomas in aquaculture and agriculture technology. So 20 students studying aquaculture at local polytechnics have been placed in internships at 10 local fish farms. We hope that this problem will be successful and that innovative and sustainable farms will help Singapore reduce its resilience on food imports. Well, what is your opinion on this topic? Did you know about all this? 
feel free and share your opinion with us in the comment section because we would like to know it. At the very end of the video, don't forget to press like and bell so you don't miss more videos like this. Subscribe to our channel, and if you enjoyed the video, share it on your social media with your friends. So this is it. Thanks for watching and meet you soon again.